Hey, what's going on everybody? Back here with another bench video. Uh, but before I get started on that, I uh, just want to say something new. Hey, I renamed the channel. It's uh, Evmo FPV now. It's a lot shorter. It's uh, a name I've used before for other things. Um, Evmo SLR is a mouthful and um, I don't do a whole lot of long range anymore. So I decided just to take it out of the title because I still do it, but it's not the sole focus of this channel anymore like it was when I first started. So anyway, uh, Moeus is out and Evmo is in and there you go. So what I really wanted to talk to you about today is something else that I do for this hobby. So I don't just fly and make videos. Um, I also make custom TPU parts. Um, I didn't make this holder, this is off Thingiverse, but I've made a few before. Specifically, I want to talk about this mount right here. This is a Cadex Vista adapter, fits right on the Apex HD frame. So this frame was designed to be used with an air unit, but the air unit's really not that great. I mean, it's amazing for what it does, and when it came out, it was really cool, but it's big. The onboard recording kind of sucks. It, it honestly never worked for me. Um, even with the right uh, SD card. So as soon as this Vista came out, I just snatched one up and realized it wasn't gonna install cleanly. There were a couple solutions on the Thingiverse, but I didn't like them. So we have mine. It has a 20 by 20 mounting hole pattern on the bottom here. So it just, you just screw it right in, super easy. Um, it's made out of uh, TPU. It's got a holder that goes, uh, antenna holder that's long, that goes right up the back, that is really beefy. Um, a couple of the prototypes I've smashed really hard and I no no breakage at all nothing it's like nothing happened um, and then something else this has which is really nice is it actually has a channel underneath it so you can actually route all your wires from your flight controller up to the back and they're completely hidden away like they're just not exposed at all there's no way they can get snagged or damaged on anything so that's really nice um, the other thing I wanted to show you was my Immortal T mount. Now it's huge. It's probably the biggest Immortal T mount out there, but it's big for a reason. Um, back when I had the air unit still on here, um, I didn't have enough room to cleanly run the uh, Immortal T wire through the inside. Um, and I ran it on the outside, but you know, that's bad. You don't ever want to run it on the outside if you can help it. Um, so I made this piece that fits over the bottom. Um, it's got a channel down here for the, uh, for the antenna wire. Um, it's completely covered. It's not going to get damaged. Um, I had a couple prototypes that I've been flying for a, a, over a month now, and they have not broken despite some really gnarly crashes. So you don't really need this if you're using a Vista because you can just route it through here. Um, but if you're still using an air unit, then you might want to consider this. It'll free up a lot of room on the inside. Um, and I just found it just made things a whole lot simpler. Uh, it doesn't weigh much at all. I, I think the old Immortal T-mount I was using was four grams. This is, um, I think, seven grams. So despite the size difference, it really doesn't weigh much. Um, and it gives you a little extra pack protection down here if that really matters. Probably not on this frame. It's a pretty bulletproof frame. So anyway, that's going to cover it. I uh, just wanted to show this to you guys. And um, you know, it's a beautiful day outside. I think I'm going to uh, go burn some packs now. All right. See you later. Bye.